So as a final step, really just for testing, um, we're going to turn the Zap on. And just to recap, what we've done is we've brought in a Google Form into a Google Sheet, converted it using Zapier, and then uh, also created an action in Zapier to build a, a contact in Salesforce. Um, so, and what I did was to look out on Salesforce to see that in fact we did get that test record, did create okay. Uh, and so from here, I'm able to click uh, turn it on. Now the thing about Zaps is that it's, it's not going to be retroactive, so it's not going to go out and get information that's already, it's really taking information that's coming in at this point. Um, so now that it's on, uh, what I've done is I've gone out and I've built uh, uh, or added another contact. So what I've done is uh, I've added a, a G6 uh, email address and first name. And so what I can do is to look out and say, okay, the Zap is out there. Uh, and um, what I can do is I can go and click on my dashboard and that'll take me to this task history which shows success that I was able to bring in a new row uh, which is helpful and I was also able to um, look at it here and I'm getting a G6 so that should be all set. Um, so, so that really completes kind of this phase uh, for the next series, what I want to do is to look at adding some complexity. And we've been doing some work with Braun Weiss, with um, um, Harshisa Navas, and also Shabir Syed have, have really been helpful in, 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 in putting in some advanced features around multi-list, um, pick lists, that kind of thing. So uh, kind of watch for that video, and uh, thanks for your time.